All right, so check it out. I have this really cool productivity hack and I figured I'd share it with everybody in case it could be helpful for you too, since we're always looking for ways to hack things and make our productivity better. So this is a little device called Stream Deck and it's essentially just like a little box with programmable buttons that you can assign to different hotkeys and different actions. Um, this started with streamers that were like going live on Twitch and Facebook and at my previous company I ran our Facebook live broadcast through the 15 button version of this because it would run our OBS software, our broadcast software and you could like cut from camera one to camera two and then you could bring up different graphics and things and you could cut back to camera one. But now people have been using it for any kind of shortcut or hotkey that they want on their system. So I have mine set up right now to run some default things. So one of my favorites is I set up um, a series of actions that when I push this button, it not only opens Zoom, but it starts my personal meeting room, kind of a series of actions all at once. I just push this once and then boom, I'm here in my Zoom meeting. The other thing that's really cool is that you can have an entirely different set of buttons for different applications. So when my Zoom opens, it actually switches to a whole set of six different buttons. So I've set some things that control Zoom in particular. Like I have a mute toggle. We've got one that makes it like full screen and then not full screen. I've got one that toggles um, gallery view versus speaker view. And then I have leave meeting, which is actually a, a series of actions that's leave meeting and then confirms yes, end meeting for all. So yeah, these are all things I can just click on very easily or make um, hotkeys for and use on my keyboard, but you gotta remember all the keyboard combinations for your hotkeys. Um, and sometimes it's nice to just sit back and relax in a Zoom meeting and be able to just kind of push mute, unmute right here, just with one hand. So when I'm not in Zoom, it goes back to my system defaults. I also paste my Zoom link a lot. Of course, like if I'm in Slack or if I'm creating a Google Calendar invite, I want to drop my Zoom link in there. With one click, I can just paste my Zoom link, which is pretty sweet. Um, I also made one for just showing my desktop, uh, so that's pretty handy. Like sometimes, you know, you have a million things open, you just want to like slide everything away. Again, this is a system hotkey that you can use, but I love having just a button for it. I also made one that just opens my um, porch nest cam really quickly, so that way if I'm like in a meeting or doing an interview with somebody and I don't want to look over at Chrome and have to click on my bookmark, I can just kind of click it and it will open. So if the puppies are barking, I can see uh, what they're barking at or if I got a delivery or something. Um, I've got just my do not disturb toggle here, which I use all the time when I'm entering uh, meetings. And then I also made a shortcut here just for some like quick emojis. Um, obviously you can get to emojis very quickly. If you didn't know, you can always hit control command space bar on your Mac computer, just pull up the emoji dialog. But I just programmed my most used ones in here. So it's really satisfying to just click on that, boom, and just enter it into an email or a Google Doc. That's actually in a folder. So then you click back out of the folder. And I made all these custom icons myself. I did blue for system, yellow for zoom, so I could always tell where it was. But that's what's really cool about these little buttons is that they are each little LED screens. So it has a really easy interface where you can just drag and drop what you want on the buttons and it's like pretty self-explanatory. Anyway, that's just some of the stuff that I chose, but you get the idea. Um, I don't know, you can think of a million other things to do with it. All right, so there you go. Kind of cool productivity hack, very tactile. I love buttons and switches personally. So I uh, thought maybe that'd be helpful for some of you guys too. This video is not sponsored by Streamlabs.